Hi everyone, it's Beth, and today we're making a cute little flower hanging sign. I used one of these flower stakes from Dollar Tree, some of Dollar Tree's wood planks, some stir sticks, I only ended up using one, some twine, truffle chalk paint, white acrylic paint, Spanish moss chalk paint, and hot glue. First thing I did was took three of those wood planks and lined them up next to each other. And this is where I decided to only use one of the stir sticks. I just cut it right in half. And I cut it in half using miter shears. So I just lined them up, one on top of the other, trimming down just so they were as close in size as possible. And then sand it off the edges. And I took my twine and I just cut a piece. This will be the hanger, but I wanted to glue it right underneath one of these little stir sticks so it stayed in place nicely and was secured between the stir stick and the planks. So I just put the hot glue on the stir stick and then put down the twine and then attached it to the planks. And then glued on the other one. Once that was all done, that's the little sign. If you can't find the planks, you could always use popsicle sticks all glued together. So what I did was took the truffle chalk paint and did my underneath coat, and I just did one coat of the chalk paint just on the front. Next, I took the flower stake, and on the back of it, it um, is just tied together with that wire. So I just opened up the wire and took it apart. The front two flowers come off fairly easy. I just trimmed up any excess little metal that was on the back that was gonna prevent me from gluing it back together. And then I took the larger one that has a stake attached to it and I just kind of used my shears to try to pry it off of there. It took a little bit. You just have to kind of bend it back and forth and then it pulls right off the back. Once I had them all apart, I took my Spanish moss chalk paint and just painted that with two coats of the chalk paint. Once the two coats of the paint were dry, I took white acrylic paint and just dry brushed it on the edge of each of those petals. I did that on all three of these flowers, and then I just dry brushed it the center of each of them as well. Next, I took the acrylic paint again and painted that over the sign where I had painted with the truffle chalk paint. And I ended up doing this twice because some of the chalk paint was bleeding through. 
So I just dry brushed it over the whole thing, let that coat dry, and then did another coat of the acrylic paint. And after the flowers were dry, I glued them all back together, making it so the bigger one was on the bottom, placing the medium sized one and putting the petals um, kind of offset between each flower. Just hot glued them right into place. Next, I took some of the twine and I wanted that to be in the center. So what I started to do was just wrapping it around itself to make like a flat circle and just got it big enough where I wasn't gonna burn myself with the hot glue putting it on there. So I just put some hot glue and put down my little twine circle. And then once I had that on there, I wrapped it around a couple more times, just hot gluing a very tiny bit and then trimming off the excess. And then the last thing I did was glued the flower to the center of the sign I had made. Now I wanted mine nice and simple, but you could add some unfinished wood beads around the edge or something to dress it up a little bit. But I just went with the more simplistic look and I glued that flower right to the center. And that is it. I think the project was super easy, but it looks really cute. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.